Cindered Shadows, The Fourth House In the Imperial Year 185, the construction of Garrig Mach was completed. Saint Seros held a sacred ritual to honor the occasion. Four saints, known as the Four Apostles, were led to a tranquil place to perform the ritual. They poured their holy essences into the Chalice of Beginnings, a gift from the Goddess herself in hopes of bringing about her second coming. Alas, the Rite of Rising failed. Bearing the blame for the ritual's failure, the Four Apostles left the monastery, all but vanishing from the land. The first sought the lush forest of Adrestia's mountains. The second traversed Fodlin's fangs, settling on the ocean's salted shores. The third traveled to the mountains, vanishing beneath their lofty peaks. And the fourth faded into shadow, in a town untouched by day's light. Lost to history, Nothing but legend now remains of the Four Apostles. Their offering to the Nabataean Chalice and the Goddess, who never returned. Excuse me, sorry to intrude. Please, forgive the disruption, Lady Rhea, but I have that report you asked for. Do not worry yourself, Alois. As it happens, I am presently unoccupied. Please, go on. Ah, great. I'll just... Hmm? What's that book you've got there? It is a chronicle covering the 995 years since Garrick Mach Monastery's completion. Huh? Sounds like a good read. Maintaining the Church's records is one of the duties entrusted to all Archbishops, myself included. This one states that Saint Seros ordered the monastery's construction after the end of the War of Heroes. This is a rare and valuable text. Most documents of that era have been lost to time. I see, I see. Time aside, we also lost many books in that massive fire 21 years ago. Indeed. What was once well documented exists now only in this chronicle. Not least of which is the ceremony commemorating the monastery's completion. Interesting. I'll admit, I know the year it took place, but not a thing beyond that. That is to be expected, unfortunately. According to this chronicle, the rite of rising was held during the ceremony. The intent was to bring about the goddess's rebirth. The rite of rising, huh? Hmm. Can't say I've ever heard of that one. I am not surprised. There should be countless records documenting that important ritual. Alas, today all we have to go on are fragments of forgotten memories and our own imaginations. One thing is clear. Their wish for the goddess's return was most fervent. Saint Seros held the ritual along with the four apostles, Noah, Chevalier, Timotheus, and Oban. However, it did not bear fruit, as the Goddess did not return to this world. So, it is written. I've never heard of the Four Apostles before. They're different from the Four Saints, right? That is correct. Today, almost no records exist of the Four Apostles. Their names live on only in the names of their crests. But the bloodlines bearing those tokens of the past have been lost. Any deeper knowledge of the Apostles has all but disappeared from the grand stage of history. Well, that's interesting. Does that mean there's somewhere... backstage? In a sense. It is possible that their bloodlines have carried on in secret, perhaps materializing where no one thought to look. 
I had not intended to indulge in such a long-winded lecture. Please, tell me your report, Eloise. It concerns the underground, does it not? Oh, right. It's as you suspected. Recently, there have been several incidents in the area beneath Garrick Mach. Claude, are you certain that suspicious individual you spotted went through... there? I will say, that does look a bit like a passageway, doesn't it? Unless I dreamt it up while sleepwalking, there's no mistaking what I saw. I never thought I'd say this. But I believe Claude's story. In fact, it reminds me of something. I have heard tales of countless passages snaking beneath Garrick Mach. This is undoubtedly one of them. Perhaps so. In any case, there is no telling where it leads. Oh no! Oh, you're right! There is no telling what we could find. Terrible danger, wicked creatures, unspeakable smells. The risk is too high, your highnesses. I must humbly insist that you wait here, where it's safe and smells nice. Meanwhile, Teach and I will track down the bandit-shaped person. If we don't return, do me a favor and call for the knights, will you? That is quite enough. As though we would allow you to make that call on your own. With so little information, it's far too dangerous. We'll come along as well, right, Dimitri? Yes, of course. If it was indeed a thief, we must not allow them to get away with their crime. Considering what took place at the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth, vigilance is paramount. Right, well, tag along if you insist. Just don't come crying to me if we all meet a terrible fate. Deal? Likewise. Well, no use dallying. Let's be on our way. Unless there's someone else we should call for? Yes, a fine idea. Though at this time, I fear few of our classmates are still awake. Whoa there! What's all this, Professor? You and the three house leaders creeping around at night? Pretty shady if you ask me. It's certainly a rare and unexpected sighting. Especially considering the hour. Looks like a whole lot of something is about to happen. I'm going back to bed. Stop right there, Lenhart. Your bad luck is our good fortune. You're coming with us. You can stop thinking of ways out of this, Hilda. We could use your help, too. You as well, Ash. I'll explain everything on the way. Happy to help. We don't have anything better to do at this hour, so we may as well pitch in. You have our gratitude. Now then, let us be on our way. Ready, Professor? The more the merrier, I suppose. Let's just hope we're not all marching to our doom. <sighs> Yuri, this is brutal. Tell me again why you're subjecting me to this devastating boredom? <sighs> Enough with the yawning baldness. If you're really that bored, you could always make a friendly wager. Thanks, but no thanks, pal. I'm low on funds as it is. Last thing I need is another debt I can't pay. Right, B. As if you could say no to that. <laughs> How diverting that you should bicker for my amusement. Imagine my overwhelming dread were I stuck here without such joyous entertainment. Count me out. I'll leave the talking to Yuri Bird and Coco. Hey, boss. Back already, huh? Have you detected any movement on the surface? Well, uh... I looked for the Cardinal's meeting, just like you said. The thing is, I was spotted by some weirdos. They chased after me and everything. Some weirdos, you say? So very helpful. They weren't knights, were they? I don't know. There were only a few of them, but I bet they were armed to the teeth. <laughs> With meager numbers like that, I doubt they intend to take on Abyss. They probably took you for some kind of villain. They'll lock you up if they catch you. Finally, a little action. Let's find them first and throw some punches. Hold baldness. Tis ignorance itself to rush headfirst into trouble. You're excited to fight too. You've been waiting for a chance to try out your shiny new magic. <laughs> Surface laws don't apply down here. That gives us the freedom to have some fun with them. They're probably not knights, but our new friends definitely work for the church. You had best not leave me behind! Hmm... 
It seems this place is more than a simple passageway. There's clear evidence of human habitation. People living under Garrick Mock? Oh, my brother used to tell me stories like that back in his academy days. Ah, so Holst attended the academy as well then? Of course. Back then, there were tons of rumors about what goes on below Garrick Mock. Something about tons of passages and houses beneath the town, all inhabited by super shady people. It had a real intimidating name, too. Uh, what was it again? I think it was called... Abyss? That's two points for the pink-haired gal. Welcome to Abyss, strangers. Identify yourself. That uniform. Welcome, curious students of the Officer's Academy. What brings such fine, upstanding surface dwellers to our humble abode? We're tracking someone who is creeping around the monastery. Our business here does not concern you. Do you intend to let us pass? <laughs> Such indulgence simply cannot be permitted. Your words may fool the fool, but I cannot be so easily deceived. I, Constance von Nouvelle, shall divine your true intentions. You are here by order of the church, which cruelly plots to eliminate the inhabitants of Abyss. Did she say Nouvelle? I don't care what the reason for this brawl is. A bite's on the menu, and I'm ready to feast. Let's get right to it, yeah? By the look of them, I wager they're experienced combatants. I'm not certain this is a wise endeavor. I was thinking the very same thing. Time to make a strategic retreat, then? Turning back already? Oh, but you'll make me so sad. Now why would you want to do that? Everyone here is starved for amusement. They've been waiting for a good fight. Wow, look at that. A flawless example of a surprise attack. These aren't your run-of-the-mill thugs. Aw, oh, this isn't the time to be impressed by our enemy. We must find a way through at once. Wait. Claude, is it? Is in the brand new heir of House Regan? Who, me? Nah, wrong guy. Claude's a common name in Fodlin. It's just too dashing for new moms to pass up. It's even a popular choice for fake names. Just a good, solid, all-purpose moniker, you know? Right, except there's only one Claude enrolled at the Academy this year. Looks like that's you. How do you even know that? Ah, you just gave yourself away, pal. Looks like my luck's finally taking a turn for the good. All right. So your choices are as follows. Line up for the beating of a lifetime, or let us lock you up like the good boys and girls you undoubtedly are. I have no clue what this guy's going on about, but it looks like a fight's in order. And it's pretty much all my fault. There's a saying from the East about fighting a flicker with a flame. Seems applicable right about now. Finally, let's do this already. Prepare to face the almighty king of grappling. Why can't I shake the feeling that I know that wild man?
I must grow into this new role. Well, anyhow, it doesn't seem right to cross blades without knowing at least that much. Wow, does it hurt to take yourself that seriously? Answer the man's question, B. Why me? Yeah, fine. We're the Ashen Wolves. We're the secret fourth house in Abyss. The surface world turned its back on us, and we did the same in return. Back for a back, as they say. Fourth house? Impossible. Still, we must focus on the battle ahead. Seems like it'll be tough to fight here. It's kind of dark. Looks like a great place to map, though. Uh, the locks on those gates look really complicated. There must be another way through. happening what are we doing wrong <laughs> I think the better question is what aren't you doing wrong only we can operate that I'll give it my all I'll cut through Ready and willing. Stay focused. I must steal myself. Never had a chance. Who, me? Ugh. Battle.
Who, me? I'll give it my all. Doing my part. I'll cut through. Some kiddo. I won't hold back, so you better not either. These fists are packed with years of pent up resentment. Time to let loose. You have my support. The time is now. Ready and willing. Stay focused. Yeah! It's over. Yeah! That is that. <laughs> Battle. Chance, you'd remember meeting a specimen like me. True. I definitely remember this sharp twinge of annoyance. Stop yapping and start slapping. <laughs> <laughs> Get ahead of myself. Oh, you got guts. I'll give you that much. Good try. Bye. 
come to think of it, there's an easier way to handle this. <sighs> what was that? It couldn't have been a summoning spell. Expected as much.
The fight continues. Should I have held back? to watch your back. Oh no, I knew something didn't feel right. Definitely tougher. For me to back out of this fight, I don't want to hurt anyone. But in this case, I guess there's no avoiding it. Give it my all.
I could use a break. I put in some work. Stay focused. Think this through. Each battle, a chance to grow. We must all do our part. I'll cut through. <laughs> battle? Run! Is it too late for me to back out of this blood in this? So far left to go. Ready and willing. As expected. That was tough. This is boring. Count me out.
will prevail. Stay focused. Keep aiming higher. How it goes. I'm starting to see results. Allow me to demonstrate. Should I have held back?
underestimate the denizens of Abyss, and it won't end well for you. Tremble in fear at my magical might! <laughs> I cannot lose! Doing my part. It's not that I'm defeated, so much as that I'm temporarily grounded. A long road yet. dwells within. What is that? Made an outsider.
I'll cut through. I'll give it my all. we here? Some lost kids stumbling around in the dark? Stay a while, won't you? Shame indeed not to have a bit of fun with each other while we've got the chance, you know. Use caution. I'll cut through. Wow, what shame indeed. Is that all? I will get stronger yet. <laughs> Maybe I got a bit too carried away. Nah. We must all do our part. It's safe to say we've won this round, don't you think? Uh, B, was it? The name's Balthus. I don't lose often, but I can at least recognize what it looks like. Balthus. Balthus. Balthus? From House Albrecht? Baldi, is that you? Woo! <laughs> you look, uh... Old. Huh. Do we know each other, pal? Wait a minute. That hair, those eyes, that voice! Hilda! I don't believe it! Pulse little sis! <laughs> I don't believe it! Little Hilda herself! Why didn't you speak up sooner? Baldi, this isn't the time to catch up. What would Hulse think? I bet you didn't consider that, did you? Eesh. I don't know, but it wouldn't be nice. Look, sorry, okay? Just don't tell Holst. If he knew I raised a hand against you, he'd have my head. Ha! <laughs> like he'd stop at your head. Fine, though. Just this once, and just for you, I'll keep quiet. Now that that's sorted... What did you mean about it being lucky that you found me? Oh, that. One of the guys I owe gold to is Count Gloucester. He said something about forgiving my debt if I could dig up some dirt on you. Figured this was my shot. Ah, uh -huh, so it was purely selfish. But then was a fight really necessary? It really was. Best way to acquaint yourself with someone is to get into a tussle with them. That's common sense right there. Huh. I had no idea there were others like B out there. Say what you will, but I learned all I need to know. It's clear this lot has nothing to do with the church's intentions. But that means those other creeps could always attack us at any moment. Someone's targeting Abyss. Mercenaries keep sniffing around and causing trouble here. They won't let up. It's a real problem. We have no clues pulling the strings. There are many within the church who would love to see this filthy underground city purged. When you first showed up, we thought you were here to do just that. <laughs> Apologies for the confusion. So that's why you came at us with that nasty Kill the Outsiders act. As Yuri Bird said, we're sorry. We're all pretty on edge these days. Indeed. That someone would descend to Abyss out of pure curiosity was far too outlandish to consider. No idea. These tunnels have been around for ages. They could be older than the monastery, for all we know. None remain who know the complete truth. However, I shall tell you all that we know for certain. 
Abyss is home to those who shun the light of day. It is the secret shadow of Garrig Mach, if you will. The church quietly tolerates us. They think they need a place like this for Garrig Mach to thrive. The deal is simple. Abyssians never get involved with the surface, and the surface never gets involved with us. Alas, for some foul reason, surface dwellers have been after us of late. Further oppressing those souls who can only find solace beneath the ground? I cannot abide it. Though it pains me to admit, we too harbor valid reasons for not venturing into the light. That is why, by the grace of our esteemed patron, we have been granted sanctuary here, in Abyss. I see. Balti, does that mean you've got a reason for being here too? Afraid so, Hilda. I'm here because there are more bounties on my head than there is hair. Needed to lay low. Real low. But, uh, Balti, that's awful. Enough with the niceties. Let's get these surface dwellers out of here. Nonsense! Intolerable nonsense! Why ever would we let slip this chance to acquire their aid? Like we said, recently this place is being targeted by mercenaries. Myself excluded, a lot of the folks who live here can't defend themselves. They're here to avoid conflict. The elderly, the infirm, orphans, lost souls, merchants who were chewed up and spit out by the nobility, works. It rests upon us to protect those who cannot protect themselves, and to safeguard our home. To that noble end, I must insist that you lend us your strength. I feel for your cause, truly. However, I cannot help but wonder why you would trust us so readily. We are from the surface, after all. Trust is a choice. We're choosing to trust you, for now. It's clear you're not here by command of the church. And you're not just a bunch of noble twerps, either. You can hold your own. It's in the way you fight, how you carry yourselves. Still, I'm reluctant to get you involved with this madness. It's our problem, not yours. It's too late now. We already told them everything. Let's at least give them a chance to decide for themselves. Most true. Wander about Abyss for a time, and I am certain you will come to the only correct conclusion. Right, what she said. Take a look, think some thoughts, consider yourselves our special guests.